what's up everybody Slifael is here thanks again for watching and welcome to my new subscribers if you're new to my channel I'm trying to bring you cryptocurrency news in an entertainment kind of way so it's easy for you to digest so today I wanted to start off with some news that I've read on Nasdaq.com so Nasdaq thinks we are in a bull run again woohoo <laughs> So we need, do not need to be in fear again as the last days, or should we? <laughs> well, at least I am not so bullish on Ethereum. As you all know, I would suggest to watch my video, Ethereum price at risk. And I'm selling off Ethereums along the way. As you've seen in my IOTA video, how to buy IOTAs. I also bought some IOTAs with Ethereum, but just a small amount. But my plan is to sell off around 50 to 75 percent of my Ethereum. And I'm not saying that you should do the same thing, but my position might be a little bit different. But also looking at it on the long term, so of course there are a lot of blockchain use cases that can be applied to Ethereum. But what raised my attention was the Internet of Things use case. Cisco and Bosch had indicated that blockchain alone and especially Ethereum at this point of time is not ready for the IoT use case. So from that fundamental perspective I'm not going very heavily in Ethereum. That doesn't mean that there are not a lot of other use cases that it will be suitable for, of course. But hey, that's just my position, right? And who am I? I'm just a hobby investor, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions and do not take anything I say for granted. So for Bitcoin I just wanted to bring up some commercial adoption news. So one of the news I read is that Lorento, a high-end rental car service which rents out Ferraris, Maseratis, Aston Martins and all that in 70 different cities in Europe is accepting Bitcoin. Then of course earlier yesterday I guess Burger King in Russia also announced that they are going to accept Bitcoin. The other news that I read in terms of commercial adoption is that two private preschools in New York City are also accepting Bitcoin. And looking at some bigger adoption news, so Single Point Inc has raised capital and with that capital they want to solve cannabis payments via Bitcoin. Since currently it's pretty difficult for the cannabis business to partner up with traditional banking institutes. And of course they just want to generate extra revenue by offering other types of payment methods. So just to put things in perspective for this market, so by 2026 it is estimated that the global market for medical cannabis will have a size of 15 billion US dollars. So it's only good if Bitcoin can have a piece of a pie of that. <laughs> then the last thing I wanted to mention is that more and more websites in the adult business industries are accepting Bitcoin. So XHamster for instance, Porn.com, Naughty America, and don't pin me down on this website because I don't know what these websites are about. But I've just read this news on Bitcoin.com, okay? So then IOTA news. So I was notified of one of my viewers that goes by the name of Sendal, or Sendile. Sorry if I pronounce your name incorrectly. But I want to thank you very much for sending over this article because I haven't seen the article before and it's a pretty interesting article so I would suggest to you all to read the full article on Medium and I will place the link in the description below. But as said in my initial IOTA video is that INOG is one of the partners of IOTA. So INOG is the innovation hub of RWE which is the second largest energy supplier in Germany and they've actually chosen IOTA as one of their platform partners for some concepts and practical use cases and proof of concepts that they are building currently. So one of the practical applications is CarPass. So CarPass focuses on 
the mobility sector or the automotive sector. So they offer a solution that surely captures telematics data, like tamper-proof mileage data, so you cannot fraud with that anymore, environmental data, maintenance data, but also trippage data. So has the car been driving a lot of small trips or a lot of long distance trips? So again, I will not go in further more details because otherwise it will be a long video going only about this article and IOTA, so I would suggest to read the full article on Medium. So NAM came out with the news that they are going to spend 40 million for global expansion in the next year. So in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, they are going to set up a blockchain center together with Blockchain Global, which is an Australian blockchain company and known for ASX.io, which is the largest Bitcoin exchange in Australia. So within the blockchain center, there will be the NAM Innovation Hub, which is a headquarter for research and development and to provide regional support for companies that are interested in the NAM blockchain technology. Next to that, they have $5 million available to act as an incubator for blockchain startups. Also as part of the partnership with Blockchain Global is that they are going to set up a cryptocurrency exchange. Then last but not least, I wanted to close up with some news of Dash. So Dash came out with a lot of news already this week, starting off with the 400 MB block size increase, then the roadmap yesterday. But actually, a lot of people have already spoken about that. And as you know, I always try to find some news that is not highlighted very much. So I wanted to focus on the July budget report. So basically, there's some good news coming out there. So the current price increase of Dash results in that they do not need to have additional funding for the core team. So that's actually good news. Also what caught my attention is that they are going to professionalize their marketing activities. So on social media, in my opinion, Dash is already the most present in terms of marketing. But they are going to outsource their marketing activities to a professional company that will be focusing more, let's say, multi-channel to reach a broader audience. So what excites me the most is actually the budget proposal approval for the Money 2020 event that will be held in October this year. So for those who do not know what Money 2020 is about, it is the largest event for enabling payment and financial innovation. So the audience mostly consists of CEO, presidents, but also key decision makers. So out of the other cryptocurrencies that are there, Ripple is always present there. So now it's time for Dash to shine and to do a good reach out and do some good business development and to create some awareness. So Dash with the ambition to be THE digital cash should be present there on Money 2020. So that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.